now and ever into the ages of ages. Amen. At uh, one point or another, we all have to take the responsibility of being a teacher, either in a big way or in a um, small way. And it's actually very rare, very, very rare that um, a person will go through life without having to teach someone about something, almost next to impossible. And whatever our profession may be, wherever we're, you know, whatever the circumstance, there will always come a time where we'll have to be a teacher to someone. And, um, you know, when we're working, a new trainee comes in, we have to teach them what to do. When we're a student, we understand something better than others, we have to teach our fellow students. And um, so when we get older, you know, our parents try to teach us things um, and um, so on and so forth. And, uh, you know, at one point we all have to teach someone something. And I really, I'm, I'm really fond of teachers. And I really envy what they do. And I think it's, it's one of the hardest professions in the world. Um, because someone who teaches, they have to take something, they have to filter it out and they have to give it to somebody else in a different manner that they can understand. Um, it's a lot of work, it's a lot of commitment, and um, you have the ability to influence uh, and mold an individual or a group of people. Now, with that being said, and no offense to Teji Achin, I also think that teachers are the most dangerous people in this world today. And the reason that I think this is, you know, uh, my statement from previous, and I said, that you have the ability to influence and mold someone, um, either individual or a group of people. And, you know, when, you, when you're trying to teach somebody, uh, without you knowing it, they will always take something from what is being taught. Maybe little or uh, big, they will always take away something. And, um, I'm, I was kidding about it being, you know, hating our teachers being the most uh, dangerous people in the world. Education is actually the most dangerous thing in the world today. And that's a reality. Education, as we know, you know, we have everything, we have all the resources in the world in our fingertips. You know, back in the day, um, you know, I remember when I was in high school, we had to use encyclopedias, so like the actual bound encyclopedias. We had to look it up look through all the 26 volumes and find out whichever alphabet you're looking for and look through the word. Now you just, you know, okay Google now, you know, look up this and you get all the answers. Everything's at your fingertips. You have the world at your fingertips. Education can be done, you know, it's easy to teach someone, it's easy to learn. Unfortunately, that's also very dangerous. The way that someone is molded, the way that someone is taught, will have a tremendous impact in the later parts of their lives. And it's something that we, we are not aware of, we're not conscious about. During World War II, the Nazi youth were taught only Nazi propaganda, nothing else. So to them, there was no world outside of the Nazi cause. It was the same thing in the Communist Soviet Union. And today it's happening in parts of the Middle East where young children, young, young men and women are being taught very um, things of hatred, very conservative Islam, things like that. And all these things will impact future generations. We are the same way. What we teach our kids, what we teach each other, can be very dangerous depending on how you teach it. In today's Gospel reading, take it from St. Matthew chapter 15, 16 verses 5 to 12, Christ is very clear about how we should teach or influence or mold people around us. And he tells his apostles to be to beware of two things. One is 
the leaven of the Pharisees and Sadducees, and secondly, the doctrine of the Pharisees and Sadducees. And it's very much relevant in our lives today. Because as an individual, the doctrine that we preach and the leaven that we use, and each of us do use leaven, by the way, our actions, our thoughts, our words, they're all leaven. It's so easy to influence another person. It's not as hard as you think. When one person does kindness to another, someone may see that and gain something from that. At the same time, when one person does evil to another person, an idea is gained from that as well. It's very easy to influence people. With that in mind, Christ tells us to be aware of the evil leaven and the evil doctrine. What we do will be mimicked by our brothers and sisters, by our children. But we are not aware of that. We are not aware of that because the fact that we think only about our actions as relating to us. What I do will only uh, impact my life. No. What you do, what I do, will impact the ones around me. And that is what Christ is trying to tell us today in the Gospel reading. Because of what you do, because of what you are or who you are and your actions, people will fall from God. And that is the warning that Christ tells us today during, uh, through the Gospel reading. My brothers and sisters, it's very simple. Leaven is something that can make something else grow. It doesn't have to be a good thing. I was telling the Sunday school kids today, there can be bad leaven. If you promote a bad idea, that bad idea will grow. If you promote a good idea, that good idea will grow. And doctrine is having an idea. Each individual here, including myself, we have our own doctrines and we have our own levels. What Christ is telling us to do is to use it in the proper way. Become the good doctrine and become the good leaven, so that those around you may not fall they may not be educated in the wrong manner, but they may be educated in the proper manner so as to see what the will of God is and to follow His path. And for that, may He, may he give us strength. Glory be to the Father, Son, and the Holy Spirit. Amen.